Good afternoon, Reed. Colin here with TechOut. I just wanted to give you a quick look at iOS 11 Beta 1. Keep in mind that a lot of things could change between now and the public release. First thing, the biggest um, update for iOS is Control Center has been completely redesigned. It does take up a whole page now, and the bottom two rows are fully customizable. If you go into Settings here, sorry, I'm looking through the camera. Let's see, go to uh, Settings, go up to Control Center. You can reorder and add other um, quick uh, toggles. So you can do like accessibility, Apple TV, camera, guided access, magnifier, notes. There is a new screen recording feature built into iOS 11. So you can screen record videos right from your device. Uh, stopwatch, text, and timer. Those are the ones I have set right now. So if we go back, you can see um, you have all these up here. So you 3D touch that and you get more options. Now there is a bug right now where Bluetooth is on um, on my device. It is on and connected to a device but in Control Center it's showing not connected and it doesn't actually toggle on. So that is the only real bug I found so far um, using this for about an hour. I haven't had any crashes or anything like that. Um, right here you can 3D touch for your music. I don't have any music on the phone right now. You have your rotation lock, your do not disturb, you can do your brightness right here or you can 3D touch it for a little bit more control also you get your night shift toggle down there um, you have your sound right here you can also 3D touch that for more control your screen mirroring, flashlight, 3D touch it you get four levels of control uh, calculator which you can open the calculator or 3D touch it to copy your last result home kit which you can tap it to open the app or 3D press it to open your quick toggles and your scenes. Um, this is your low power mode. There is no 3D touch for that, but you can turn it on and turn it off to toggle on and off low power mode. Alarms, you can create an alarm, stop the or start the stopwatch and start the timer, or you can go into the app, your wallet, which I'm not going to open for obvious reasons, and then your do not disturb while driving. You can toggle that once it's set up. So that's Control Center in iOS 11. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for some more videos.